Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 168. Welcome. Well, let's just get right into it, and I'll show you what I got done this week and what I worked on and started. <laughs> so for my first finished object, I finished Bumble, which was the Rudolph the Crochet, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Crochet Kit that I purchased off of Amazon. I can put, I'll put a link in the description box below where I purchased um, this and so for the month of I'm doing one character per month for the whole year to get the whole set made there's 12 characters the the kit comes with yarn to make Santa and Rudolph but then there's a book inside that has all 12 characters the pattern on how to make them you just have to get your own your use your own yarn okay so for August it was supposed to be Bumble and I did finish him before September it turned to September so let me show you him. I think I showed you where he was partially made last last week. Okay, here is Bumble. And yes, he did turn out uh, quite large. <laughs> but I think he turned out pretty cute. As you can see, he's already lost his teeth. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> um, and I do have his little uh, hair up there at the top. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too tall. So I may give him a, hair, a little bit of a haircut. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to look at some more pictures to, to decide. Uh, but anyway, I did not brush his body like the pattern had said because I, I hate using a wire brush with yarn. It's just, I, I'm not very good at it. And it just, I don't know, I don't like doing it. So I just brushed out the hair and that was it. I did try to brush across his, well not really, but with a needle. I don't, you can't even see. But I tried to kind of pick kind of made it more of a halo for his mustache just using a needle but it didn't work that well but I think he turned out fine okay so this is uh oh my goodness how many characters do I have uh, seven no eight <laughs> characters of the 12 character set and I did take a picture of all of them standing together so here is my updated picture of my set So that is my set so far. Uh, sneak peek for next month. Well, not next. This is already September. For this month's character will be the Misfit, uh, the Island of Misfit Toys, the doll right there. Okay. So she's going to be who I'm going to be working on next. And um, so I'm, I'm anxious to get started on her, but I haven't started her yet. Okay, so that is for, uh, finished object number one is Bumble. <laughs> okay, uh, finished object number two is the perfect pocket shawl that I was make, working on. So let me get that. And here it is. And I got, all, I got the pockets stitched on. So there is one of the pockets. And as you can see, I've got the fringe connected to it. So let me slip it on right quick and see what it's looking like. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so there you go. And see, here is, here is the pocket with the fringe hanging down. Don't know, can't get back far enough where you can see. Well, there, you can't, you can kind of see. <laughs> anyway. I think it turned out really cute and it's going to be quite warm and cozy uh, whenever it gets cold. Right now it is very hot <laughs> um, so I'm taking it off. <laughs> but I really like the way it turned out and it's a great pattern. This is a pattern by Sonia Hood. I think that's what it is and I will link it in the description box below. I bought it off of Etsy. It's a paid for pattern. Okay, so that is... Um, Oh, and I used Lion Brand Heartland in the colorway Grand Canyon, okay, for this. It is the, it is the yarn that the designer used when she, when she um, did hers and took picture, a picture of it. And so um, the person that wanted me to make this saw that picture and she wanted that exact yarn. And so I was able to find the yarn and that's what I made, that's what I made it with. <laughs> So for finished object number three, I made a little cat. <laughs> and this is a little amigurumi cat, okay? This is a, was a tutorial that I followed. It is, uh, the name of the channel is called Crochet Mama. 
and I will link it below uh, where you can uh, to the tutorial for this uh, cat and um, and then you can check out her channel because she has lots of uh, really cute little characters uh, and uh, tutorials for them uh, there's this really cute little owl and then um, a puppy oh yeah there's a puppy I really want to make it's striped and um, where you change colors uh, ever row or I don't know but it's got you use like three or four colors but he is really cute and so I'm gonna I'm sure I'm gonna be making him as well but anyway <laughs> This will be go, going in the donation box that I'm going to be sending off to Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet. She's doing a um, Garfield along, I think that's what she's calling it, but it's a charity make along for uh, the elementary school that's in her uh, that her children go to, and um, she was wanting mittens or little toys and things that they could use as rewards that they could earn or. Um, prizes. I'm not sure what they're going to be using. All going to be using them for, but I just thought that was really cute, and it's a nice little size. Uh, so uh, I will be putting this in the box to go um, to Amber. <laughs> okay, and I used Red Heart Super Saver stripes. See how it changes colors. Uh, I can't remember the name of the. Um, of the color I don't have the ball band I don't think anymore it was just a leftover cake that I had but it's like um, it's got browns in it it was all shades of brown so I don't remember if it was something about cafe something or mocha something uh, I don't even remember now but anyway I thought it would make a cute cat and so I really like the way it, the patterning came out I think it's really cute <laughs> Okay, so this is finished object number three, and I made this, I started it yesterday and finished it today. So it's a real quick uh, pattern, and like I said, it, there's a tutorial, and she um, she does the tutorial, and then she does a voiceover uh, that tells you what she's doing, and she's got the pattern printed on the screen now uh, of the video, um, you know, line by line, but she does use different abbreviations for the different um, like she uses an X for a single crochet and she uses a V for an increase I'm not sure where those symbols came from but it's in the beginning of the video she has a screen that she puts up which which it tells you what each of those letters stand for what stitch and um, but besides that, though, when she does the voiceover, she actually says, uses the terms, you know, uh, increase and uh, single crochet and, you know, so it wasn't hard to catch on to. So anyway, really cute patterns. Okay, so that is all my finished objects for this week. My works in progress, I'm working on, I'm still working on the poo blanket. This is a uh, pattern I'm making, or blanket that I'm making, it's going to be for a baby. A baby gift <laughs> and so um, the pattern I bought the chart off of Etsy and I'll put a link below to the description in the description box where you can find that chart I'm doing so the C to C or corner to corner method in uh, this blanket and um, like I was telling you last week there's lots of bobbins connected to it and so it's hard for me to hold it up so what I did is I laid it out and took a picture of it so you could see my progress on it I I, I have made progress on it but I was trying to get that shawl finished so I can get it to the recipient I was really trying to get that finished and I needed to get bumble finished and you know so I worked on those more to try to get those finished and so I didn't get as a lot of progress I got maybe uh, five or six rows or so I'm not sure but anyway here's a picture of my progress on the poo blanket okay so that's my progress on the poo blanket and here is a picture of what it's going to look like when I get finished with it <laughs> Okay, so it is the classic poo from like the books, not the Disney poo. And um, she, to go along with that blanket, I want to make a little amigurumi. And I found an amigurumi of an Eeyore. And it is the classic version, not the Disney version. And so I've started working on that uh, just because I was sitting and uh, it on it. 
sitting on the couch and I just wanted to start something little that I had my yarn and hook it within reach and so I got started on the Eeyore and now I will put a picture here of what Eeyore is going to look like. Okay, so that is what Eeyore is going to be looking like, and that one is a free pattern, and I will put that in the description box below as well. Uh, I've only started working on his body, okay, and I'm using the same yarn that I'm using for the poo blanket. The background color, it's this Lime Brand uh, Pound of Love that is called Bluebell is the color. And I thought it was a really good color for the Eeyore. So I'm making his body, main, the main color, this color, okay? And that, so that's all I've done. Oh, and I'm using an E-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook, okay? <laughs> so that is works in progress number two. So the poo blanket and the Eeyore. And then they're, they're going, both going to go together in the gift, okay? Okay. Next one is the baby ball, the educational ball that I was telling you about that I'm going to do a tutorial on, and it's got 12 panels around the ball. Here's a picture of what it's going to look like. So that is the ball that I'm working on. I'm just doing some of the panels and some of the... the well, mainly I'm working on the panels because you have to make like 12 of them. And so I will do a tutorial showing how to make one, but I'm just trying to get some of these done up ahead of time. And so uh, I've last week I think I showed you I had done two because you do one uh, a different color for each one. So I've done two, and so this week I did another one, which is this one, kind of a aqua green color and then now I've started another one which is going to be a purple one I've just started on that okay and um, this one is uh, oh I'm, I'm just oh and I'm using a 3.5 no 3.0 millimeter hook because I'm trying to make it small um, Crystal of Chronically Crocheting, she made one of these and she used worsted weight yarn and it turned out really super cute, but it turned out very large and so I want to try to do it with DK weight yarn and a very small hook and three millimeter is about the smallest I want to go down in hook size as far as working with this size yarn. I have used a 2.5 millimeter for like the backpack buddies, but if it's going to be a bigger project where I'm going to be doing it longer, I'd rather use a 3.0 it didn't split quite as bad so anyway these the the yarn that I'm using is leftover yarn um, and it's all from uh, I believe all of it's from pieces of Lion Brand uh, mandala cakes because that's a three weight yarn I do have some baby yarn that's a three weight yarn I may have to be put, I may put that in there uh, but I don't I, I want to try the to use the same what do you call that? Hue of color, I guess. You know, more almost primary type colors instead of pastels. So we'll see. I got to get 12 of them. So we'll see if I can do that or not. <laughs> so anyway, working on that, and I just did a little bit, um, but it's work in progress. <laughs> and then that is it as far as what I've actively worked on. Now, I am working on a another project but I can't show it to you yet but it's going to be a part of a collaboration that I'm going to be working with or along with some other people now let's go on to upcoming and I'll talk about that a little bit okay so upcoming <laughs> um, I have I was asked by Alisa of Llama Unraveled Crochet I wanted to make sure I got her channel name right and I will link her below now she is starting if, if you're not subscribed to her then you probably haven't seen the video yet or maybe you have I don't know but she's going to do a game called yarn clue and so I'm one of the participants and not participating in the game but I'm part part of the game <laughs> and so um, I will link that video where she describes on describes how it's going to work. Uh, I will link that video below, and so I hope that you will go over and subscribe to her channel and also participate in the game when she gets it started. It's going to be starting September the fourteenth that week, and so. Um, one person is going to be releasing a video each day, and it's going to be giving clues. Okay, and so. Um, 
I'm going to be doing the 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 one on Wednesday, which is the 16th, so that's when my video will come out. But anyway, I think it's going to be really fun, and thank you, Elisa, for asking me to participate in it or to be one of the actor not actors I don't know <laughs> one of the persons one of the some people in the game <laughs> okay so uh, be sure to check that out though I think it's gonna be fun and the winner will receive a gift and then and then I think there will be another winner that will be drawn like a month later um, but anyway uh, Elisa it, describes it in her video better than I can so check her video out okay so upcoming besides that I have another baby blanket and amigurumi set that I'm going to be working on I, I want to and uh, so that one and the poo blanket or I need to get finished with them like at the same time so I need to get started on that one this one is the giraffe granny square blanket and I will pop in a picture here of what it's going to look like Okay, so I'm going to be working on that one. Now, that, that blanket I'm going to do in, um, my plan is to do it in baby weight yarn, three weight yarn. And so I need to pick, look at my baby yarn and get my yellow out for the giraffe head and, and the other parts and see what I've got. <laughs> and then uh, beside, instead of the stripes, well, my granny stitch, I think it's going to be done in this. I talked about this last week, but it's going to be done in this big, um, it's a Hobby Lobby yarn. It's a Sweet Delight, Baby Bee Sweet Delight in blue baby camo because it is going to be for a boy. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'll do, uh, once the pattern of the granny stitch starts, I will do, you know, maybe three or four rows or something in this. And then I'll do one or two rows, maybe just one row of like white or something. And then I'll repeat. So that way it'll kind of break up the, the patterning of the camo. Or the variegated so I think that's what I'm gonna do now if I get started on that part and think no this is not working then I'll I can rip it out and do something else so but that's kind of my plan for right now okay so I need to get started on that that will be upcoming and I will link that pattern in the description box below too that's a free pattern and to go along with that one because the nursery theme for that gift is jungle animals so last week I told you that I was going to be working on Esther the elephant which is a Jess Huff pattern and I had quite a few people said they wanted to go they wanted to do it along with me and turn it into another crochet along like we did um, the Rudolph uh, dash the deer <laughs> and so um, so I think that'll be fine I'm gonna I'll do that now I had to order my yarn and I got it today so this is part of acquisitions but I ordered from Premier I wanted to use some anti pilling yarn because I was thinking it would be good for um, something that would be you know played with I'm hoping it'll be played with <laughs> and enjoyed and then maybe it'll hold up well and so I'm using this an uh, Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted, and this is the colorway Mist. So this is the gray for my elephant, and then I picked up the, snow, it's called Snow White, and it's the same, it's in the same, um, same brand. Anyway, so I, this, I got the yarn today, but I've got so many projects going on right now. Now, now the way I did the crochet along with Dash, I did it like a week ahead of everybody else, so that way I could do the parts. And then if I could, if I had any tips uh, on putting it together or any particular piece of the pattern, then I could, would had done it ahead of time, and then I could do a video, um, kind of giving you the tips to make it easier for those that may be beginner amigurumi makers. And so I w I'd like to do it that way. I had people say that they really enjoyed that. And so I think that's how I'm going to do it. Now, if you want to get started on it, then go ahead and get started if you want to. There's no time limit on it. But if you want to do it along when I'm doing it, uh, I probably won't get started on it until the week of the 14th, 15th, somewhere like that, something like that. So uh, what's that in two weeks? And so then I will do my first video showing my first tips probably on the 21st, September the 21st. And so um, that's probably when I'll be able to get to it. So um, 
but like I said, if you don't want to wait and get started on it, then feel free to do that. Now I will pop in a picture here of Esther the elephant. I hadn't done that yet <laughs> to show you what Esther's going to look like, except I think it's going to be Edgar or something. I was talking about that last week because it's going to be for a boy, so I might change his name to some other E. But anyway, <laughs> here is the elephant. <laughs> Okay, so I have lots of stuff upcoming, don't I? <laughs> oh, always, but but busy heart, happy heart. Busy hands, happy heart. Is that where it goes? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I did make an acquisition I wanted to tell you about. Uh, Amber of Ooh All Crochet, she does have an Etsy store, and she sells, she makes and sells stitch markers. And I ordered this set off of her site. Um, because I thought they were super cute. And I've been looking at them for a while and they were still there, so I decided to go ahead and get them. It is these uh, turtles. I'm not sure. I hope I hope you can see it. But anyway, they're so cute. And I'll put a link below to Etsy's, uh, her Etsy shop, okay? Anyway, it, she get, sent me, a, I mean, I got a whole set, okay? There's six of them, and they have the hook letters, uh, hook size letter the letters on there a bead on there so I have C D E F G and H okay and so it came on this uh, connector right here okay sorry the dog wanted out so <laughs> anyway it came on this connector that you can have personalized and as you can see I had her put my name on it <laughs> I think it's so so cute. Uh, you can have up to six letters that she puts on the top there, and so since my letter my name has five letters in it, I went ahead and had her put my name on the top. But anyway, it, it's just to hold them together. But I think they turned out really cute, and um, so go check her out if you're looking for some cute um, stitch markers. <laughs> okay, and let's see what else. Okay, so I do have an, another picture to show you. This is from a viewer. This is from Angie Strasser. I hope I said your name right, Angie. But she did a blanket with the Colts um, logo on it. And so uh, she sent me the picture, and I wanted to share, share the picture with you. So here is uh, Angie's blanket. So that was Angie's blanket. I think she did a great job on it. Um, so uh, thank you, Angie, for sending it in so I could share it with everybody. And uh, keep those pictures coming. If you have a project that you finished and you're super proud of, or, or I mean, you should be proud of all your work, uh, please uh, send me it in my email. My email address is down below. Uh, let me know that it's okay that I can show it here on the channel and I definitely will do that because I love looking at pictures of other people's work and I'm I know everybody else likes to do that too so okay so I think that is it thanks everybody thanks to my new subscribers and my old subscribe not old my subscribers that have been with me from the beginning <laughs> because we're not old <laughs> um, thanks so much for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and follow me along on all my projects that I work on and the um, tutorials and things that I release. Um, I really appreciate it. So thanks so much guys. Have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video. Bye.